I went ahead and roughly sketched out. This is not mathematically accurate or anything. So um, I just went ahead and roughly scuffed it, sketched this out because of time limits on YouTube. You can go ahead and use the Bezier tool under the basic tab here and just go ahead and sketch out your drawing just like me here. Um, I'm going to include this file as a download. It'll be in the description. And this file will come with it. I'll include a completed can. Uh, and I'll include a textured can that you all can get in there and play around with. So nothing special, nothing accurate, just something you can goof with. So let's just assume you've already drew your can shape, which is easy. Just click, 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 click. Click there, there, there. You know, rough this out with the Bezier tool right here. You just click it and hold it. And you'll have pen tool. It'll say pen to begin with. But select your pen, click and hold it. You can do curve, Bezier curve. I just picked the Bezier curve. But anyways, so here we are. So I'm going to select my edges up here. Select my curve. I'm going to go to my duplicate tab, and there at the very top, there's a radial sweep. This is what we want to do to lay this object out. So I'm going to make radial sweep. I'm going to make it on the X, sweep UVs none, and I'm going to click. Now that don't look like much. Let's go back to our perspective view. But you can drag these around. There we go. Okay, so deselect everything. Let's see. Now we can scale this up like this. Okay, now we have this rough sketch of a can here. Let's see, we can go into polygons. And I'm going to delete this little line here. Like that. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that there okay now I have this rough shape let me go to my edge mode double click my edge actually we just want one edge not two and we hit the P key fill that in let's go to polygon we will select that top polygon hit the B key to bevel it and let's take it straight down like that it could probably even go down a little more if we wanted it's really up to you. Okay, now we have this rough can shape. Of course, you would want to go in and um, shape it out a little bit by working on your edges and scaling them and moving them and just dickering with it until you get it how you want it to be. Let's try this one down here. Let's ring select it, hit the R key for scale, let's scale it out a little bit okay and the bottom we need to fill in the bottom so let's select our edge, hit the P key to fill that in if you're wondering what an ingon is, that right there is an ingon okay so let's go ahead and take this up some A little bit like that. Now let's select our polygon tool. Let's bevel this in just a tad. And when we do that, you can see that gives us our little lip there at the bottom, like we get on a pop can. And there's just little tweakings left you can do. We can grab this edge here and we can scale it in. Okay. Actually, let's try to see if we can get this to go down a little further. Okay. Let's select this. Let's hit the bevel tool and let's bevel this in. Like so. There. Now we got our little lip there. So now we have us a rough pop can. Pretty simple, huh? And like I said, I'll include just the curve as a, as a file for Modo. I'll include this version as a file for Modo, and I'll include a textured version. I ain't got time to get into the textured version, because in our next video, we're going to make our pop tab up here. Okay? But let's just say, let's just select this poly, these polygons here, and up there like that. I'll select all those by like that by selecting the middle one and then holding hitting the L for loop and then holding shift and the up arrow and it'll select for me. 
So, let's see. That's looking pretty good. Let's hit material. We can call this Coke. And we'll make it just white. Like that. Yeah. Say, so, okay. Okay, now we can go to our shader tree. Let's turn down render. Let's find our Coke material. Turn it down. There's our base material. Now I've got a little pitcher over here. Let me fire it up of, of a Coca Cola pitcher right here, as you can see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this Coca Cola pitcher right on top of that material. And bam, it roughly lays in our Coca Cola. So we can go in and we can uh, turn it from cubic to planar. Like that. It's looking pretty good. Let's go back to our polygons. Deselect everything. Now I want to select this top one. Hold my shift key and push up. And we're going to select all the way around. Like that. Oops. So we'll hold the shift key and push up. Now we've got that top selected. Like so. I'm not sure if I should select the, include that last little roll of polygons or not. Anyways, let's say Elm. I have a material for it already called Top, but we'll make a new one. We'll say Top Side. And we'll say OK. Well, we'll make it a little bit gray. Like so. Okay, now as you can see we got our texture is kind of messed up here and we need to go in and fix that And I'm going to cover that in a, another video just like we're going to cover the pop tab in a different video Just ain't got a whole lot of time nowadays on YouTube do we? We'll call it name it. We'll, we'll also Do a top to make it the top side material say okay Okay, there we go now aside from going in and we can go in and fix all this stuff we can pick our material and go into our texture locator and you can fix all this stuff here's the rotation the size if you want to make it smaller as you can see there make it smaller or bigger um, it depends on how you want to let's bring it in like that there now our material is starting to bleed a little bit there I need to separate these up which isn't a problem, but I have I don't really want to get into this texturing right now. Basically, I just wanted to show you how to model the can. And on our in our third video, our next video we will do our pop top. And on our third video, we'll go in and we'll finish and we'll clean up this texture and render it and stuff. So this is the beginnings of a Coca-Cola can. Um, like I said before, this file will be included in the link in the description. It'll be completely textured like this, and the mess up will be there. Maybe you all can want to go ahead and try to fix it on your own. And maybe you want to go ahead and model a bottle top, a top, a tab on your own that you used to open it with. So I'll include this one. I'll include the file um, without it being textured, just the can, and I'll include just the curve so you can start with me from the beginning. So this is the first step. We've got our can. Let's move on to the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Well, here I cut the video off and didn't show you a completed render. How awful of me. But anyways, actually what I've done is I went ahead and set up a, a studio. As you can see, my background here. Um, and I set up a backing plate here. And I set up a reflector. I set up my um, global illumination. And I set up all that. And we're going to go over that in another video. This is going to be a complete series on how to do this. And um, I went ahead and set up my studio and everything. Let me zoom out here. As you can see right there. And I have my... Uh, reflecting board right there. Okay. So this is what we got. So let's go to our render. And let's render this out. So you can see what it looks like. What you're going to have when we finish this little video series. Just 88,000 polygons is all we're dealing with here. And as you can see right here, we need to fix this little lip. It should have been red. So we just need to go ahead and polish that up. In your version, which I'm going to give you a version, you can go ahead and fix that if you want. 
but the version I'm going to give you will have the studio and everything in it, I think. So you can go ahead and look at how I built that. So there we go. There's our finished Coca-Cola can, rough Coca-Cola can. Um, definitely not something I would use for a client, but it's definitely great enough, good enough for the purposes we're having here on YouTube is to teach. So there's our finished result we're going to end up with. So we got like three more videos, the pop tab, the text stream, and the uh, setting up the set and the lights and the rendering stuff. So uh, hope you stay tuned. Later, guys. Just wanted to show you, here's a couple more renders I did. I made these textures myself. It says eMeek77, come get some. And I made a black version. I made all these textures in motion. Not a problem. So this is, there's my Coke version one, or wherever it is, there it is. And uh, here's my eMeek77 versions. And I like it. eMeek77, come get some.